hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video is a renter friendly bathroom makeover i'm so excited to get into this so this is pretty much a overview of what the bathroom looks like currently um very very just like outdated um it's not terrible the base of my bathroom is pretty decent i will say um i'm working with like pretty good bones but we want to like judge it up and make it look really really elevated and definitely more my speed right now so yeah nothing i'm doing is super super crazy um i will be doing like a lot of minor fixes like we won't be taking out the floors or putting wallpaper on the cabinets but i will be organizing my shelves making it look really nice and pretty we're also going to be switching out all this dingy old hardware and looking up close you can see all these little minor details that just need to be revamped so i'm super excited to get into it and let's go the first thing i'm doing is taking out all of these old hardwares and just getting rid of them because they are so tacky and just like outdated so um and this is going to make like a huge difference i did not have the right tools to use um to get these there's off of the wall i use literally a hair clip like when there is a will there is definitely a way and i just want to say to my renters out there like i know you guys are so sick and tired of the way these or you know these complexes just do us so dirty like why would y'all continue to place things in this wall when it looks like this like come on now be realistic so my toilet paper roll was falling off the wall the whole entire time i'm so happy to have that off and be replacing it um i'm taking down the shelves that were by my shower so that i can um get ready to paint the wall behind it So now that everything's removed from the walls, we can prep for paint. So I'm going to be using this spackle to kind of like fill in all the holes and cracks in the wall to make it smooth again. This is dry deck spackling. It's from Home Depot. I think I got this for like $5. Um, and yeah, it's pretty simple to use. I don't think this is the right method to use to like try to fill in this hole in the wall. I think there's something like, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I do believe the correct way is to use like a mesh, some type of mesh screening, like almost like plaster. I don't even know if that's the right, like <laughs> if that's the right term to use for what I'm trying to describe. You try, like, listen, I don't know. But if you know what I'm talking about, then you know. But I just use that to kind of fill in that hole as much as possible. And then I also went around my vent that's like closest to the ground. As you can see on the left side, there is like, I don't even know how that happened like it was like that when I first moved in and I'm surprised I let it go this long before I fixed it but I just went ahead and put all that spackling over top of that whole area so that is one seamless piece.
and started using this stippling or stamping technique with the rag and it's pretty easy like the rag will honestly do all the work for you all you have to do is press it onto the wall and make sure you have a minimal amount of paint on the rag as you can get like don't have the rag super soaked just cut and get it like damp with the paint and you want to do like several layers Definitely of this. You want to make sure each layer has dried before you add another layer of paint on top of it. As you can see, um, the layer behind it has dried and I'm starting on another layer. I think I also added a little bit more black paint to that mixture. And I just want to give it like a little bit more dimension. This is what really makes it look like cement and makes it look really, really realistic. And it just looks really good to me. So you definitely want to make sure that you are cleaning up any other excess paint and drips anywhere else. And yeah, that's it, y'all. If y'all want to like a full in-depth detailed video specifically on doing this paint technique, let me know in the comments and I got you. We're going to be installing all of the new hardware and fixtures and things like that. So I'm taking out my old shower, as you can see. It's just like, I mean, it's fine. It's a shower head. It works. But there's also like a lot of like... I don't know I think it's holes in it to where it like sprays out in different directions so this one I was really excited to get um I got this off of Amazon I'll try to link everything down below and if you just want to comment and let me know if I didn't link anything go ahead and let me know in the comments but yeah this is just me showing you guys everything that came in this package it comes with like an extender piece I guess to hook onto the shower you get like a handheld shower as well which I really really needed and that's gonna be so helpful for like washing my hair um cleaning the shower washing hazel it's just gonna be like a lot easier and y'all look at the way the wall <laughs> is coming apart around my shower like this is what i mean when i say they do not care about these units like this was like this literally since i moved in and i just put like my little greenery up there to hide it but like come on now it's just things like that like i'm just so over how these landlords do these units and like upcharge for these quote-unquote upgrades and like child like fix the foundation first before you try to like go in and do cosmetic stuff because to be honest like us girlies we be doing this ourselves anyway we just want a good base to you know be our home like come on now anyways i'm ranting i would probably do like a whole video dedicated to just like talking about <laughs> our landlords but whatever um so yeah i'm just installing this shower head and yeah i'm just gonna let y'all watch this part and i'll come back in a little bit let's continue on installing our hardware um this kit actually comes with five pieces it's a towel rack um two like shower hooks a toilet paper holder and also a handheld towel hook this one was the towel hook and i actually didn't even like how it looked with a towel actually on it so this is kind of just like decor and i guess i can like hang stuff on it if i need to like put it there for the time being but most of the time there's nothing gonna be hanging right there um, and then I'm just installing the towel, I mean the paper towel holder. I really like that this came with this insulation template for putting up your towel rack because it's just super easy to follow and it gives you the exact dimensions of of like where to put it so yeah I'm just like reinstalling my shelving 
These shelves actually came in a pack of three, I believe, and I'm only using two of them in this area. And I wanted to add another one. So this shelf down here is actually from Five and Below. And I had this for a while. I didn't just go out and buy this for this um, bathroom specifically. I just had it and I didn't really know where to put it. And I remember that I had it. And I want to show you guys another... Um, Pretty much how they had that template in the um, hardware kit. This is kind of how to do that without using an actual template. So I'm using the masking tape to go ahead and mark each screw hole. And I'm taking a Sharpie and just making a little dot where the screws need to be. Once you peel the tape off, make sure that it's level on the wall. You will have exactly where you need to put your screws at. And it's like really a no-brainer. It's like super easy. It doesn't take a lot of time to do it. And you don't need to measure anything, which I love. So, yeah, I thought that was really cool to show you. I think I saw that on TikTok a while ago. And I actually put it in one of my other videos. I think it was my kitchen makeover video. If you didn't go see that, go check that one out. Really, really good one. And it's doing really well on my channel. So, if you like DIY projects... Please go ahead and stick around. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm doing a lot more of these renter friendly projects around the house. And I want to show y'all and I want you guys to see it. So make sure you subscribe, turn the notifications on, and yeah, you won't miss it. This shelf, like I don't know why this took so long to put this up. But once I got it up, I absolutely loved it. It's something about adding a puck light to an area that just gives it like a very much elevated feel. So I love that. But now, guys, we are heading to Home Depot to get these vinyl floor tiles that I have been eyeing for a little bit. And these are actually not for the floor. They're going to be for my shower. Now, they have a lot of different options. This actual, like, gray and brownish kind of option was really, really cute. I thought about getting that one as well. But this is the one I ended up getting. It was only $1.99 for a pack of 30 um, 12 by 12 inch tiles. And this actually covered majority of my bathroom. As you can see, this is just a recap of what the shower was looking like before. And, y'all, when I tell y'all, <laughs> I am so impatient. Like, I have no patience at all i love to see the final result of stuff so this whole process i did literally just by sticking the actual floor tiles on the shower no adhesive no anything just the adhesive that comes on the back of the tiles and why did i think that was going to work like look at <laughs> they came off already so like i did the whole 30 tiles and they came off so yeah i had to start over and this is like literally a month later so this is a spray that i used um to restick those tiles and they have lasted this whole entire time so child look it was just give and fail all around but use this um spray adhesive and mind you this part is definitely not rinser friendly I do not recommend using this to um, apply towels to your renter friendly bathroom and if you do I recommend like putting some type of barrier between the shower and the actual tile for me I truly just didn't care like my bathroom was falling apart as it is so we just went ahead and did it and um, I'm really happy I did because it gave much more of a luxurious finish and it covered up all those broken chip tiles um, that were pretty much chipping even more every time I go in to clean my shower so um i'm really glad i did this and again definitely take your time make sure you measure out the tiles as you can see i did not do that i literally <laughs> thumbnail um anyways i'm um, gonna go ahead and take a dance break i guess but like i was saying i am very very impatient i did not measure out anything i pretty much just went with the vibes and just winged it so it's not as even it's not as perfect as it could be um, again, I definitely recommend just taking your time, making sure you measure out each tile so it can be an exact fit and you won't have as many gaps as I did. Um, I'm pretty sure my shower is just uneven in general, so that kind of also played a part in it. But for the third time, literally just take your time and make sure you... This took maybe about 45 minutes or so um and this is what it looks like like i said it's not completely perfect like please ignore all the little cracks gaps and all that extra stuff but just the overall look looks better to me like i feel like this looks really really good um for what it is and i'm happy with it i really love the way it came out um let me know in the comments what you guys think if you would try something like this let me know like um you can see the gap 
by the faucet that I was not about to deal with. Like, my dad was supposed to come help me with this, and he'd been bluffing on me. So this is what we're left with. Um, I really, really like it. And now it's time to do the finishing touches of my whole entire bathroom, and I love this part. This is the part that I was super excited to rush and get to, which is why my shower looks the way it does, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I added these this greenery back to the shower that I had before, and that's kind of just to cover up that um gap in between the wall and the shower where it's like falling apart and i think that just adds such a fresh feel to the shower and then we're going to go ahead and use this gold metallic paint to paint my mirror because i feel like i wanted it to look more like a picture frame than this like silver-ish kind of look that it had before and i feel like it just stands out more um against the silver wall i mean not the silver wall i'm sorry the gray wall um i feel like the gold just looks a lot better So this was something I was also really, really excited to do. Um, I had just got done ordering a whole bunch of skincare stuff and just setting them up on this shelf. Kind of just like, it made me so happy because number one, I love seeing like all of my um, products just lined up really nice and organized. It just makes me feel like, it makes me feel good. So doing this was very, very fun for me. I did, as you can see, I'm going to go back and forth between like how I want it to look. And I honestly don't even think I ended up leaving the shelf like this at all. I changed it up again. My indecisiveness is just crazy. But um, yeah, I just loved setting up my skincare products and organizing my shelves, turning on these puck lights and just like seeing how it all looks and seeing how it's coming together was so satisfying for me. So I hope it's satisfying for you guys as well. And I'm going to go ahead and stop talking and let you enjoy the process. you guys are we ready for the reveal of my bathroom makeover renter friendly you guys let's just get into it like when i open this door i feel instantly like i'm in a different place i don't even feel like this is my bathroom anymore 
I feel like I'm in Tulum or something like I feel on vacation it just gives me like a really really nice open surprisingly it gives me like a brighter feeling I guess it's because I did go ahead and change out my lights as well so that's another like really really low-key hack that can make your bathroom feel completely different change up the vibe it gets rid of that like yellowy um off-putting color to the bathroom it just looks overall more fresh and open and clean i love how minimal and modern and upgraded my bathroom looks like this is what i envision my bathroom looking like and i'm so happy that it came out this way a lot of this stuff wasn't even brand new these shower hooks i just had my little sister paint them black and gold for me she did an amazing job they look beautiful i did add the new shower head the rainfall shower is such a vibe it looks so luxe towel hooks are actually from the dollar store so definitely affordable options changing out the lights definitely made such a big difference in the way the bathroom looked um painting my mirror also added that like artwork it just looks more like an art piece um adding new hardware was definitely a major major key this is something that you can definitely invest in and make it look really really different and unique definitely personalized to your liking the toilet paper holder is actually one of my favorite things because like i said my old one was falling off the wall this one just looks so much more nice i just really feel so happy about the way the bathroom turned out i just cannot believe that this is my bathroom and i feel like all these little finishing touches they really just make such a big impact let me know what you guys think about it in the comments don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up i'll see y'all in the next video